Welcome to this video walking us through Learning and Organizational Development's registration system, LOD Reg. In this video, we're going to focus on three main things. The first is, how do we navigate to the registration site? The second is, how do we log on? And the third is, what information in our profile is important to us? So the first thing we need to look at is, how do we navigate to the site? We're going to show you two ways. The first is clicking through the University of Manitoba's website. The second, a direct URL link. So to use the University of Manitoba's website, let's go to the main page at umanitoba.ca and then hover over faculty and staff. And we're looking for learning and organizational development, otherwise known as LOD, under employee resources. So click that link and you'll be brought to LOD's homepage. Notice the name at the top there. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in the left-hand menu and click on course registration. Now this is going to bring us to the main page of the registration system and you'll know that we're there when you see a couple pictures of happy people learning. Now if you want a more direct way to get to this uh, site, open up another tab or a browser and just simply type in umanitoba.ca slash hr slash lodreg and hit enter and this will bring you to the same page of the registration system. Now that we're here, doesn't matter how we got here, the next step is we need to log on. So on the top right hand corner, you'll notice a login tab. Now if you haven't been here before, you are going to have to create an account and create your username and password, but let's assume we've already done that. So we're going to go back to the login tab and we're going to click on it. Now it's going to pop up and ask you to type in your username and password. Your username will be your email address, which you'll notice if you've already been here, it pre-populates it for you. So type that information in, click OK. You don't have to save your password if you don't want to. And now you're going to be brought to the profile page in our registration system. Now the important parts about this is going to be on the left hand menu is going to have your identity. So this is the stuff like your name, your email address, and your unit, office number, things like that. Now these are things that might change also with your password. So if you need to change any of this information, there is a little pencil, just click on that and you'll notice that all of the fields are now, uh, you can edit them. So if I wanted to go by Joshua as opposed to Josh, I can change it here and then click save. And now that information is saved and changed. The second part about this page that is important is the courses window. Now it has a couple of good things in here that we want to look at. So like what courses you're enrolled in, what waiting lists you're on, the past courses you've taken, but kind of the, the big part about this tab or this uh, window is going to be the unofficial transcripts. So this is where you can click on it and it will show you courses that you've taken previously. Now one thing that you'll want to know is that if you're looking for kind of your overall transcript of all of the courses that you've completed, what you want to do is you want to click on the unofficial transcript tab and it'll show you some courses, but we're going to have to set a date range to see all of them. So the what I'll do here is I'll go back all the way to January 1st of 2016. So go back to the January 2016, click on the 1st, and then set the 2 date as today, and then filter it. Now what that's going to do is it's going to show all of the courses between those dates. So it does have to have a date range there. So that's the profile page. Now, now that we've logged in, seen this information, if we want to choose our courses, we can click that browse course link and it'll bring us back to that main page where it's going to set us up to actually start to go through and pick our courses. So we'll click that now and here we are. So you'll notice we're logged in because it says the name there, it says welcome Joshua Hartland. And now that we're here, we can go ahead and actually pick courses and add them to our cart. So our next video will go through how do we choose that and how do we sift through the different courses that are there. Thank you for joining us for this video. I hope it was informative.